Welcome back to DTV. I'm City Councilman Daniel T. Valenzuela. Street maintenance is a city service that affects us all. Whether you drive a car or ride the bus and keeping our streets in peak condition is a team effort, as I recently found out. So we're here in Phoenix District 5 to talk about streets and I'm standing with our Deputy City Manager, Rick Namark. How are you doing? I'm doing morning? well this morning. How are you? Good you. I also have Aaron Searles from my District 5 team and we're going to work on some streets today. Why are streets important? Well, uh, the city of Phoenix is over 500 square miles, so it's a big place and people got to get around and the best way to get around is on the streets. And, you know, we do a lot of work uh, in the newer areas of town. There's a lot of growth to uh, build new streets, but it's important to take care of those streets. And that's why we're here this morning. We're going to show how we take care of the streets in Phoenix. So today I think we're going to take care of what we currently have by doing some street repair right here in West Phoenix. That's right. In fact, uh, when we went out in the budget hearings, we heard a lot from people about the condition of some of the streets or the fact that they didn't have sidewalks or streets in certain areas. And so we're really trying to focus on making sure we're uh, increasing the maintenance that we do on our streets every day at the City of Phoenix. So I appreciate you coming out with me. Oh, yeah. I, I asked Rick to give me an inside look and this is where he brings me. So I appreciate it. Rick. Great. You bet. Thanks. I'm here with Street Superintendent Jack Noble to talk more about streets. Jack, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Councilman. All right, now, Jack, how many streets are maintained in the city of Phoenix? We, we currently have 5,000 miles of arterial, collectors, and, and local streets that we maintain for the city of Phoenix. I have to ask this question because this is a question I get asked at every neighbor, well, many neighborhood meetings, and it has to do with potholes. How many potholes does the city of Phoenix uh, fill each year? So far this year, we have uh, filled about 20,000 potholes this year, and that'll increase during the weather. If we have monsoons, we get more, just depending on really on the rainy weather is on how many we get. What's very important is, you know, Jack, tell us how do we get our street uh, fixed, whether it be a pothole or anything else? What, what do we need to do? You can call in any street complaint, not only your streets, but sidewalks, anything you see in the city that has to do with the streets. And that number is 602-262-6441. And somebody will take your information, send it out to a foreman. The foreman will come out and look at that street or an emergency man. They'll look at the street and determine what needs to be done. And then they will send it through that channels to get it fixed at that time. That's great. Now, what are we going to do today? Today, we're going to actually mill out the street and we're going to put down new asphalt. We're going to over, we're going to put down a, with the lay down box, we're going to overlay the street. This, this particular piece of equipment is our milling piece of equipment that we're going to have you get on and mill out the street. And then we're going to put you on a lay down box and we're going to back in and have asphalt put into the lay down box and we're going to allow you and Aaron to um, actually put the street back in. And, and then at that point, we'll actually allow you and Aaron to roll the, the asphalt at that point, and you'll get to see the whole process of what our crews do every day in this extreme heat. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. I have a tremendous amount of respect for anyone who does this job on behalf of all of us in the city of Phoenix. So I appreciate it. And we appreciate you guys coming out and being interested in what we do. So let's get to work. So I'm here with Ruben Samosa from Street Repair. Thanks again, thank you for this opportunity. Thanks for having me. Thank now, you. before we get to work, I wanna ask you a few questions. Okay. About some of the obvious safety issues. Now, um, it's early in the morning, the sun is already out, and I can already feel it. So let's talk a little bit about the safety issues, beginning with the heat element. Okay, well, first things first, in the morning we try to keep hydrated, but uh, of course the heat's you know, the heat's a big factor. Of course, we're gonna hit triple digits here pretty yeah. soon, if not already. So uh, we try to get out here as early as we can uh, to avoid the heat and to get in and out as fast as possible. So, um, well, what we're doing right now is we're gonna start profiling here pretty quick. So yeah. uh, we wanna set the machine down and and get going from here. So right. the, the faster, the better. So. Heat is a major factor, but it's not the only factor. There are a couple of other factors. Correct. We also have to deal with traffic. Traffic is a big factor when we're out here working. We also have to watch our backs as we're uh, moving along, profiling the street or paving as well. But uh, we got the heat, the pedestrians, the traffic. Uh, everybody seems to be in a hurry while we're out there in the middle of the street. So okay. we need to slow down just a little bit. But yeah, that's, that's a big factor. So accidents are common when we're out there working. Okay. 
So remember to look out for the guys and gals wearing this type of clothing, doing the job that we all benefit from. Virgil here is going to teach me how to stripe today on Big Lulu, they call this equipment. So uh, hopefully I'll stripe straight. And I got to line it up appropriately. All right, let's roll. So how'd I do? Be good. All right. Nice Those and look straight. pretty straight. Richard's giving me the thumbs up up there. Good driving, <laughs> Richard. Thank you. I think I'm going back to my desk job, if you don't mind. But uh, this is hard work. These guys do a great job, and it definitely takes a lot of skill to get this done. They say I'm doing OK, but I think they're just being nice. <laughs> so Aaron, we got a first-hand look of what this job is really about. Yeah, we did. Right? I mean, we get calls. And we both advocate, along with the rest of our team, Wendy and Vanya, who's back, uh, to really try to get the streets taken care of here Definitely. in West Phoenix. And you and I came out, and we learned some today. Do you have a new perspective? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, the first thing is like, how cool are these uniforms? <laughs> yeah, I know and you want to take it all. I no. do, because they're actually really, really comfortable. Um, but you know, the, uh, a couple of the the, the fir first two things that I noticed, and uh, is that you know, it's really hot out. You know, it's not hot out here, but it's hot once you get on that. And we came on a morning, on a not so hot day. 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning, and these guys come out here in the summertime and are doing this. I can't even imagine the kind of heat they deal with, so I have a newfound respect for them. And not only that, it's, before I came out here, it was getting your streets repaired, not a big deal to me. Like, get out there, get it done. Coming out here, I realized how big of a process it is, what it really takes, and it's, a uh, big, big process. So I have a new found respect and, and for what these guys do every day. And, and I think uh, coming out here really helped, you know, let me know what's involved in everything. So it was right. a great experience and right. I appreciate these guys that much more. Well, there's a commitment to getting our streets repaired uh, from the very top down and, uh, and from the bottom up yep. in this organization. And it is quite a process, but it's one that everyone is committed to one that everyone's uh, dedicated to getting it, uh, getting it fixed. For example, while you and I were repairing this road here, a deputy city manager, Rick Neymar, was down the street right. yeah. striping. So together, we all worked hard to repair this West Phoenix yes. Street, which makes me happy, which makes <laughs> nice. us happy. I told you guys I can get Rick out here to do something. Thanks to the Streets Department for everything you do and for letting me get my hands dirty.